So um, I'm going to start showing really quickly how to create a framework uh, for the Le Corbusier chair. Um, right now, as you can see, uh, we start working on this uh, chair and uh, uh, on the seat and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to create that stainless steel framework starting from this point and uh, uh, creating all this curve. So I need to have a reference of this while I'm modeling and I'm going to start with the CV curve tool and try to imitate this um, this shape. So create CV curve and um, let's go down and we need to go straight and this goes up and down again and uh, then I'm gonna get this nice curve with adding a little bit more resolution over there and I can always go back and uh, change the, the uh, this shape of this uh, curve by accessing the control vertex and let's say we're done with this shape I'm not gonna go and make the exact same one uh, for the for this video, we more like want to understand how to mirror the geometry, how to fix, a, how to make a very clean uh, pipe and mirror it on the other side so we get like a clean framework. At this point, we have only the profile from this side. And what I need to do is to make half of that. So if you cut this chair in half, then you get uh, this pipe running and it's running straight. And then we have. Um, a, exactly the point that we're gonna weld and here we don't have that yet so what I'm gonna do is go back to object mode let's look at this curve so we need one more point one more curve here and a little bit of a little bit of a curve on this side too so both sides need to be extended so I'm gonna select the, this point and move it but then you see that we're getting this uh, this problem. When you're moving that, we're not going to get the, a great shape. What I could do now is use utilize this shape, like restrict it with more points. So I'm going to go to my object mode, and I'm going to run to the surfaces area for a second. Go to edit curves, and open this menu for us, for our editing curves tools. I'm going to select this curve and click Control A to open the uh, information here, the attribute editor for this particular curve. While this curve is selected, we can see that it's consisting it consists of 13 spans. That's the number of spans that this curve consists of. What we need to do is rebuild this curve um, with um, more points and also with uh, even spacing in between them. So we need to go to rebuild curve those are the options. The default options are four. Here we have 13, so we need to probably go about 24 would be good. Let's try that. Apply. Because we don't really need to change the shape of this. We need to, to keep it as it is, but to actually even out the spacing. So this is good. I'm going to close all these windows. We don't need them anymore. And now I have more points to work with. So I'm going to get this point and bring it over here. The same with that. Bring it over here. Now, the problem is that these are stretching. I'm going to go to the top view just to line them up also. So we can see here. We want this down over to this side. And I'm going to select both and scale them on the Z so we squash them. And I'm going to add more points manually. So go curve point. I'm going to select three curve points here, holding down the shift key, select three points here and three points over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell and go to edit curves, insert knot, and insert a knot at every selection. Apply. So here now I have more points. Now it's a good time to start shaping, giving it more like a proper shape. Scale these. 
bring this closer the same with <clears throat> this area move them down and then select all of them and squash them on the X so I got my profile done my uh, path sorry this rail that I, I only need to, to make a profile and I'm pretty much done with this Let me just correct that area here for a second so the profile is gonna be a, since this since it's a cylindrical uh, tube I will use a cylinder and I don't need as many as 20 subdivisions I can I can go down to 12 and get rid of the faces that we don't need I'm gonna get rid of these faces select the profile which is our cylindrical disk center the pivot point and now I'm going to snap it on the curve and if you um, watch the video with uh, explaining the snap tools up here then you will understand how to do this correctly first of all here we have a control vertex the control vertex over here shows where the beginning initial point of the of the curve stands so this is our beginning point so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to snap this on the curve and extrude it